Hey everyone, it's Lobster Shorts and we are going to be making a card today. So I have this cutting die from AliExpress and this is one you paper piece together. We're also gonna be using this background stamp, which I also got from AliExpress. And same, this one from AliExpress too. This one is all to do with weekends and we're gonna be using that weekend sentiment die. So you guys are probably going to hear my dogs in the background again. When the puppy is moving around a lot, you're going to hear his collar. And my golden is sound asleep under the table. So you might hear him snoring. We took them out to play ball earlier today and now they are exhausted. We actually got our golden from Turkey. We don't know how old he is, but I think he's around six years old. Has anybody else adopted a puppy from far away? Let me know how that went. Our first week, it was actually pretty stressful. Not that the dog did anything wrong. It was just kind of intimidating taking a dog into your home you don't know. He came straight from Turkey, right off the plane. We just picked him up and brought him home. So I'm using this Knight of Navy from Stampin' Up. But he actually turned out to be such a good dog. We really love him. He's actually traveled more than I have. So we're just gonna stamp this background stamp down. And I have this stamping platform from We Are Memory Keepers because things never stamp perfectly for me. So I don't think this is the stamp's fault. This is just because I've got air pockets because it's such a big stamp. So I'm just gonna put a little more pressure behind it. spots here in the middle. I'm going to try dragging it and see if that helps. Oh, we still have spots here. Okay. This is what's wrong here. I think I got a piece of the ink pad off. Okay, I've used this stamp more than once, so it's not the stamp that's the problem here. It's just my memory foam here. That's better. I think I'm gonna try to do that once more though. Again, this is why I just love stamping platforms. I'm gonna call that good enough. We're just gonna take this one off and change it for that weekend one. Okay, so we're going to use this one now. We're going to use the weekend. Just going to place that here and I'm going to stamp it in the exact same color. Okay, so I think that's good enough. Okay. 
All right, so I always try to do this very carefully. I've definitely ruined cards before pulling tape off. I've even stuck this tape to my sweater just to try to get the stickiness a little less, just to save me a headache if they rip. Okay, so there's my stamp cleaning pad here, but we're gonna do that later. And now we're gonna paper piece this die together. So I just cut that outline out of gold. We're gonna glue that down. I really like this Barely Art glue. I got it off Amazon, but when I saw it listed again, it was like $50, and there's no way I am paying $50 for glue. So even though it's really good glue, I'm not, I'm not going that far. So I have to get another glue to try because this one is almost done. So I'm just gluing that outline of that die down in gold. I've already cut all the pieces out. There's a lot of small little finicky ones in here. Okay, I actually really love the navy and gold color combo. So here we have the bottom piece for the sand and then I'm just gonna work my way up. Oh, my golden, he's snoring like a little angel. Okay. Maybe I should introduce you to him. This is Otis, and I think we tuckered him right out today. He is out cold and snoring. Anyway, back to cards here, guys. Okay, so now we're going to glue the chair piece on. I'm just going to put this together like a puzzle. So I have all the pieces cut out on this piece of paper here. And if things don't go on straight again, don't know what happened. So, what next? Where did this piece go? I think this one goes right here. So hopefully everyone's having a good long weekend. I fear in Canada it's a long weekend. I'm not sure about other countries. Just stick this on. So the long weekend is also, uh oh, this is not going on well. Here we go. The long weekend is what inspired this card. And I love going to the beach when it's a lot warmer. I actually got something really crazy on AliExpress. I don't know if it works. I bought an underwater metal detector and I'm excited to use it, but being here in Canada, I'm not quite ready to go swimming yet. It is still cold here. So let me put this in. So I did start another channel. I don't know if you guys are interested or not, but I will link it below. I'm still going to keep up with this one, but I know a lot of people don't like when you mix topics together. So I definitely love antiquing and thrifting, but I know that might not be everything you guys like because you're probably here for the cards and the crafting. So again, I will post my other channel and that one I'll probably be doing like everyday bloggy like things because I like to cook. Again, I love antiquing and thrifting. So it'll be stuff like that. So if that's not your jam, then probably don't click on that one. But again, we'll still be crafting together here on this channel. Oh, here's that. Is that the piece? They're such tiny little pieces. As you see this little umbrella piece, 
they cut it into three pieces. They really should have left it just one because it's a bit of a nightmare to get glued down. So, just looking for my pin because I think there is a stray little piece here. Oh no, I think maybe the ink just smeared a little. All right. So glue that other little piece, but yeah, you can see how finicky this is. Look at these tiny little pieces trying to get them in there. It's a bit of a hassle. Also these, um, so this, this die, it cut out really well, except for these two little pieces by the chair. Those ones I found really difficult to get out. So I'm trying to find them. Oh my gosh, my little angel, he's snoring up a storm here. So I did have those little pieces, but I don't see them on the table, so I might just leave them out since they're so small. Let's put this one on next. So let's do the sky now. Can you guys hear him snoring? Let me know. I think it's adorable. Hopefully you guys don't find it annoying. But you know, when it's your puppy, you can do no wrong. Actually, that's a lie. Your puppy can probably drive you bonkers. Our little six month old, we have another puppy. This one was not adopted. He was, uh, we just purchased, purchased him from a farm. He has a lot of energy. He can drive us bonkers. Okay. Okay, yes, so we have one more piece of sky we have to glue down. The umbrella stem is in. That was not fun. All right, so now we're gonna do part of the umbrella here. I think he's having a dream. Okay. This one might be a little off center. Oh no, it went in fine. Okay, that's another reason I like the white glue because if you don't stick it down right, you have time to move it. Okay, so let's see if this piece will fit in because I think I got the one piece of the umbrella off kilter a little bit. Okay, even if I did, that still went in there pretty good. So I do have little paper scraps everywhere and a little bit of glue. I am a very messy crafter. All right, so we are finished our card. I think that's, I'm gonna leave it at that. So it was fun piecing that together. I like how that turned out. All right, so there it is. I hope you guys have a good long weekend as well. If you like these videos, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.